Hey everyone, I'm Lillian. And I'm Felipe. We are the Postmodern Family. We are Americans living in the UK. We make three new videos a week to so encourage you to subscribe to our channel. Living a traditional life. What happened there? You, you cut me off. <laughs> follow me. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Today we're going to list the top 10 lessons learned in renovating a house in the UK. The first lesson we learned in renovating our house is that plaster takes much longer to set dry than we thought. Number two, glossing takes very long to dry. Even though it says four to six hours touch dry, it takes like a week. Number three is that if you've hired multiple contractors to work on your house, they're not going to communicate with each other. So one contractor should have communicated to the other that he left a plumbing tap access in the bathroom but he didn't, so then the tiler just tiled over it. Number four, be very clear with your expectations. Uh, some minor details like the tiler, I had him, I want the, a, a certain pattern on my wall because they come in five different pattern tiles. And I had to come in and basically correct him and ask him to take some tiles off and move them around because he had them upside down or he had the pattern wrong. You have to be very clear with your expectations. Number five, as you work on the house, especially if you're stripping the plaster off uh, to brick or stripping the wallpaper down, taking down ceilings, you'll find that the house will reveal secrets that will cost you. Number six, getting rid of rubbish is very expensive. Number seven is if you're doing the wiring yourself, the wiring that you run to the fuse box, you should put it inside the fuse box in your first fixing, not just sort of in the vicinity of the fuse box. Number eight, if you buy tiles from the internet, be prepared that they might be broken upon delivery. So you might need to order extra or just go to a local store instead and not order online because we had a horrible experience. Number nine is uh, just know that things won't work the first time the water or plumbing or electrics. So you'll have to do some tweaking unless you've done this for a long time. And number 10, you need to build contingencies into your timeline in case things take a little bit longer. All right, we've just renovated a house. Uh, it looks pretty good now, though there are still finishing touches needed. But um, <clears throat> the thing that bothered me the most is how expensive things are. Mm. I just did not expect like the rubbish thing that that would be uh, 200, 300 pounds every time you had one of those tips, <clears throat> skips oh, yeah. delivered to your house, that it would cost 200 to 300 pounds. And we had three of them. <clears throat> the house will reveal secrets to you, and ours mm. did. Um, mm. <clears throat> our initial thing was that we we're going to knock down a wall in the kitchen and open up that space. And in doing so, the builders discovered that the joists that are holding up the ceiling, holding up the second floor, are rotting. They were breaking. There were signs of yeah. woodworm. So you could so, see the points, uh, the little tunnel points of woodworm. Hmm. So he said that we need to replace them or not replace. Uh, we need to put new joists up. Mm. And <clears throat> in doing so, the ceilings came down to do that, obviously. Mm. Um, and then since the ceiling was down, Felipe thought we might as well put in a wet system, heating system, uh, which I was at first like, no, like, let's just stick with the electric heaters because that's what we've been living with mm. in our previous place for four years. Um, but he said, no, no, it's standard. We need to do it, even though it might cost us 5,000 pounds. Um, but we did it, and I am very grateful because the house is very warm, and I don't have to manually turn on a heater, and I don't accidentally leave a, he leave a heater on throughout the day and waste lots of money. And you said it's going to be cheaper on our bill. Yeah, because it's gas-fired, a gas-fired boiler that's heating the radiators. Yeah. But it didn't cost us 5000 because we only bought the equipment and then I installed the all the plumbing for it. So the it radiators cost us and probably three and a half thousand. What do you think? Mm, around 3000 And then um, Felipe is a professional at uh, managing timelines. So we really did very well with uh, moving out of the old house into this new house on time. 
Mm. Though you did say we were over budget. Yeah, so the the magic is always um, deliver a project ahead of schedule under budget. But usually you can only do one of the two. Mm -hmm. Um, So you'll usually be late but on budget or on time and over budget. So... But I think we're over budget because the house revealed secrets. Because if, if we didn't have the uh, woodworm mm-hmm. and we just knocked down walls, then I think we probably would have not installed the, the heating system mm-hmm. or redone the wiring mm-hmm. of the house. That took a lot longer than you expected, the rewiring. Yeah, re-wiring. yeah so you know, it's, it's always the question was, how far do you go with the house? Um, because we didn't go all the way to brick everywhere. There were some areas where we went down to brick, but mostly we left the plaster intact. We took wallpaper off, and where the the plaster, the original plaster was loose, we sort of shook it down and removed it, but where it was still intact, we left it intact. Um, <clears throat> but I guess I've seen some of the comments, people and then people at work, you say, just go to the brick and do new plaster. That's always the best. But mm. you end up knocking a, few wa- knocking a few walls down leads to new electrics, new heating system, uh, new plaster, et cetera. Mm-hmm. So but if we hadn't that done you... that, it would have been five, five, five to eight thousand pounds yeah, less. But, but um, we installed uh, four outlets in every bedroom. I think before we did that, there was only one outlet in each bedroom, mm, right? Yeah. And that, would have not, that wouldn't have been enough. Um, mm. And then we have several added in the living room, and we mm. use all of them, right? Mm. It's needed. Yeah. So well done. Well done. <laughs> Check out our other videos because we are going to be showing you the actual like house and the work that's been done on it, and then you'll get to see what it looks like now. And if you are not a patron on Patreon, we do um, have a little bit extra access to us. And you can see our house live uh, once a month. Thanks so much for watching this video. Leave a comment below. Become a patron at patreon.com slash the postmodern family. And buy the really cool, stylish, and well-designed t-shirts at teespring.com slash the postmodern family. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. Mm -hmm.